Hey guys, it's Charles the Shark Reviews here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Deluxe Class Huffer. So, here he is in his little, little truck mode. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. It looks like a pickup truck, so that's what I'm going to call it here. So, uh, especially with these on, this on the back here, the weapons. So, yeah, this is a gun, it's one and half, and then attach it to the shield claw thing because it was these. But we'll get into that more later. So, yeah, here it is. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since we got an actual good Huffer figure. In fact, I think the last time we got a decent one was G1. <laughs> I'll say the, even then, it's like, eh. So I think this is the first ever decent Huffer figure because the Combiner Wars one, no. You know, it's just Orange Optimus, so uh, with a different head. Anyways, got clear window at least on here it looks fine it kind of looks like a seed in there because you usually could see robot junk in there but here it's it looks pretty good uh so yeah i do like the orange in this kind of hue of blue here kind of it, it, it looks good <laughs> i don't know then you got the smokestacks i guess and they did paint the tires so that's good and they're not those clip-on ones where you don't see the clips and Again, all nice, except you can see visible hand syndrome, so, and visible head syndrome, but don't worry, it's only at the bottom. Look at this, here, there you go. So, yeah, you can definitely tell it's a robot there, just full up. But hey, it is what it is. So, from the top, looks very, very nice. So, yeah, and there's a little, like, not sure at the top, I'm not sure. Or you can like store a gun in there or something. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, <laughs> there's these guns but around here. So it does look real pretty good. So it kind of looks like it, the only weird thing, it kind of looks like, I mean, this is how it's actually supposed to tab in, so it's not like uh, something keeps popping out. This is the official way. Kind of looks a lot like either this, uh, well, this is good, but maybe they could have made that a little lower, but. It is what it is, so, yeah. Overall from the front, looks very, very nice, and definitely Huffer in every single way. So, yeah. So, yeah that. So, anyways, for comparison, here he is with another truck. We got Optimus Prime. And, yeah, I, I know what you guys are going to say before you go. Darn the comments saying the obvious. It's like... Yes, I will address that. So, there's where else we're gonna look at how they look. So, there's that. Uh, oh yes, by the way, the card I got in this ain't new. This is that plain old arc and uh, stuff we got. So, yeah, now I got much going on there. But anyways. So, the Optimus Prime, obviously from Earthrise or Kingdom, uh, he's been re-released in Kingdom, if you missed out on the Earthrise release. So, that's good, especially for uh, the Hover release that people want to do. So, uh, before we begin the process, I know everyone's going to get all angry, but uh, I'll be quick. So, in G1, there was an episode where Optimus, you know, boy, it was like, Open out the Alabots and defending him, but then he got crushed with all these rocks, and then he got too weak, and he was in truck mode, he was driving in, and then uh, he he transformed slowly, but he was, like, very weak, so, uh, so yeah, he couldn't really, didn't want to have all this weight on him, so, get a little Huffer, helped him out, and took the trailer away for him, so. That was very nice. That was his highlight, and his only highlight in the show. Other than that, he just stood in the background. Maybe he did stuff, but that was his only key moment. So, at least he had one good key moment. But anyways, uh, so, I'm like, wait a minute, how do you do that? This, this, this doesn't connect in here. Well, no, what you gotta do is uh, undo this. And yes, you can remove it. Uh, just gotta be hold it from the sides, and the guns will come off. I mean, they don't attach it here, so... You can just easily rip that off. So it's just one little back piece. And what you got here is it kind of looks like a bear. I don't know. It actually does. Because you got no, I don't think anyone said this. It looks like it's some bear. And you got a snout. And then you got the nose. You got the mouth. It looks like a surprise bear. 
Yeah, the eyes. Like, everyone's been saying about how Optimus Primal's crotch looks like uh, Sid from Ice Age, but honestly, this definitely looks more like a surprise bear than it does Sid from Ice Age on the Optimus Primal. I don't know. But anyways, uh, so yeah, you have this here, so you get enough space, and then you got a trailer, you got a little, like, post here, so it's the same one that you use on Optimus. So there's like a little hole here, and you just connect it. You, you only you only do the the nose one, the nose, in quotation marks. And once you attach that, yes, yep, there you go. You got Huffer with Optimus Prime's trailer. That it looks that that that's my favorite part of this figure. Honestly, he does look really good with that on. So, he's fun to roll around with with that on. So, yeah, that's really cool. And it does stay in a bit tighter there than Optimus Prime. Because I had to remove that myself instead of just moving off. So, yeah, there, you know, that, that's a nice feature that they didn't have to do, but they did it. They they went ahead and did it. So, anyways, for transformation, obviously, again, you just remove this section here. And starting off with the actual transformation, and no parts where you just want to unclick the legs out uh, from. So we'll post tab into these little holes and just rotate it around. And then I get this gray sections here and I'll flip back here and click and they'll become heel spurs and then just untab the legs. And then next, uh, uh, move the arms uh, from these tab sections and then lift up the hands. And then I saw undo the arms by the waist section and same here. And then next, I'm going to raise this up and pull back the wheels. So they're back there. Don't want, you don't want to pop them off like uh, this. You don't want to hold, but you really want to make sure that it goes in like that. And then you want to raise these up until they click like so. Let's swivel out the arms around here. And then I'll take the head around. And split the legs apart and then lower this down. And once you got all that, there you have Gil Huffer in his robot mode. And I gotta say, that is definitely Huffer. Not not that combiner wars combiner wars one. I don't care. This is Huffer. So yeah, very nice. So, anyways, uh speaking of that looks just like Huffer. Here he here this is Head sculpt there, yeah. That there's no being that. There's no being that until they make it masterpiece. Wait, wait, did they make a masterpiece? I don't think they did. Uh, but I don't think they were. Other than Bumblebee, I don't think they really done the mini bots. Yeah, all around, real nice. You got some orange. You got that blue. Got the silver pipe arms, I guess. Speaking of pipes, <laughs> they we cool if they actually do make this in the pipes. Who, if you don't know, and after the in. He was one of the post-movie characters of so season three, season four, all that good stuff. And of course, as Hasbro is replacing the old characters off the shelves and replacing the new ones, obviously Huffer was replaced by Pipes, who didn't do as much. At least Huffer got to do one thing. Pipes did nothing. But uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyways, so for articulation, I just may, gotta make sure this is out of the way so you get some clearance. And his head will rotate. It's on the bell joints, so it's slight moves up and down, not much up and down. But you do get good at the head there. And then his arms, you move a hole when he agrees. You can go out that far, bicep swivel there, and the elbows do bend. And the hands do the transformation, can do like a little pivoting. And it clicks back kind of. And then, uh, yeah. You got waist swivel. Oh yeah, I just wait. Is this an ab crunch? It kind of looks like it. I, I think that's because transformation. Uh, yeah, it's just because transformation. Okay, it looks like it's it would be an ab crunch, but hey, uh, you got a nice leg movement here. So you go back that far, kick up this far. The knees do bend though; it's a little low because again, this is main transformation. He's kind of got a little cyberverse engineering here with the you know deluxes. Like, again, those are good figures, not hanging on them at all, because as you see in my reviews, I do love them, but they're pretty good. But 
Oh uh, yeah, there's a little hollowness going on. He's got the Cyberverse leg syndrome thing that even the good figures from Cyberverse had. So yeah, but for this, it's understandable because they had to make sure this would transform the right way. So if it has to do with transformation, yeah, it's fine. But uh, at least they, it would have been nice if they came with the panel. But as you can see, uh, the thigh is a little too low for that. So yeah. and then I'll uh, say so feet do pivot a bit. So, yeah, there's all the articulation on this guy. So, very nice. It's on Deluxe Class. They definitely need to do Fallen Cliff Jumper, Warpath, and him. They need to make definitely more Deluxe Class mini bots, even you know, because they make them a little bit bigger. So, I still haven't reviewed Warpath. Now. I've been reviewed. I've only from the Wave One Deluxes. I've only reviewed Chi or I have all of Wave One, but I'll definitely get to reviewing those. But again. Uh, as soon as I'm, I was, I was done collecting, we went the wave two was blasted out. Uh, but anyways, so for accessories, just split this part. This kind of looks like a face. I don't know why. It's got like a little mouth. In it. <laughs> There's so many different faces. But anyways, so you have these split guns here. He obviously can't hold them because they're just a half peg. So uh, there's these little posts, and they go into these holes here. You just want to make sure they're all lined up and squeeze them together. And you can attach this in his arm. Now, on at least I'm, I'm not sure if everyone else has this, but it's it stays in good, but it's pretty floppy. It's I don't, I don't know why. I don't know. But hey, and then you got this uh, shield thing here. You just attach this to the side here, and yeah. So there you go. Now he's more armed up. That does look pretty cool. I don't think he had this in G1, but yeah, I know he did. I think he had it. I don't know. But this, I do like the design of this gun, especially that little orange in there. Kind of looks like a, I don't know, like he's in some video game. I don't know. But hey, yeah. very, very nice design here. So yeah. Anyways, for comparison, here he is with. Cliff jumper here, as you can see, it's kind of bigger here. So, yeah, you can definitely see now that we're not in the G1 era, they're not all going to be the same scale. So, that definitely works. And here he is with, again, his leader Optimus Prime here. So, you can get a good scale how that looks. So, yeah, there we have that. I also do want to mention. Yeah, again, this guy do, does have little uh, ports here, so you could put blast effects, so, you know, I guess shield blown out, so it's like, oop, you're getting a shield now. And then, uh, you got a little one here on the gun as well, so you can have that, or with this loose, there, there we go. There, there, there you go, and then it came out of his hand. Uh, that's pretty floppy in there. I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know why, but hey, that does look pretty cool on display. So, yeah, yeah there, there you have that. So there, you guys, have the my review of the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Deluxe Class Huffer. So yeah, he does, he's a very good figure if you would definitely want that good old Huffer that we needed for the past 35 years, then yes, this is the guy that you, you'd you probably want this figure. Now, don't get the Combiner Wars on this unless you like that design or that mold, at least on the Optimus, but this this is definitely more Huffer. The, the, you know, forget about that one, the, this this is the real Huffer, right? the, the, the Combiner Wars on this is no, <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways... Overall, pretty nice figure. My only real complaint is I don't like, again, how floppy the the gun is. Like, I, I, I'm glad it doesn't fall out of his hand, but I just wish it were tighter in there. So, so we can get, uh, don't have to worry about the gun flopping around. So, yeah, that, that's my only real complaint. I, I could look past the back, uh, with the legs, you know, with the, this, the Cyberverse Deluxe Engineering thing. Because, obviously, if they put a panel there, then we couldn't get that knee articulation and not have a good transformation. As you see, so it's a floppy gun. So, yeah. But my only real complaint, again, is the floppy gun. So, 
yeah, anyways, there you guys have that. So, anyways, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share for more. Comment down below what you guys think of this figure. Do you guys think he is good, mediocre, or bad? Let me know down below. And bye.